Hi, I'm your host, Amy Frina. For over 30 years, Care Credit has been enabling people just like you to get the care, procedure, or surgery they want or need when they want it. Behind the thousands of amazing testimonials we receive from our cardholders are the dedicated providers and healthcare workers who make these stories possible. In this series, we are giving you exclusive access to these well-respected and renowned care experts who are all part of our Care Credit Network and asking them to share the information and answers you need to make informed decisions about your health, wellness, and personal care. We are talking about breast augmentation, one of the most popular cosmetic surgeries performed in the United States. And we have renowned board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Brian Eichenberg, here to share his expertise. Dr. Eichenberg has a private practice, Renuance, in Marietta, California. He obtained his medical degree from Georgetown University and is a diplomat of the American Board of Plastic Surgery, which is a significant personal and professional achievement. Hey, I'm Amy, and we are joining you live from the studio today with Dr. Eichenberg. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. All right. So we are going to ask you some questions about yourself before we get into um, breast lift surgery, which is why you're here today to talk to us about. Okay. Uh, so first of all, if you could not be a cosmetic surgeon, what would you be? Hmm. Well, I'd kind of like to be a rock star, but okay. I'm not a very good singer. Do you so. play an instrument? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good at the piano. Okay, mm -hmm. a rock star on the piano. I can dig that. Who is someone in your life that you admire and why? I admire my father a lot, honestly. Mm -hmm. Why? He's a, he's a policeman, stand-up guy, strong work ethic. Him and my mother both, all they ever did was help people. Wonderful. And now you are also helping people. Exactly. What's one thing in your life that you could not live without? Hmm. Probably exercise. Yeah. It's really important to me. Uh -huh. yeah. How do you exercise? Uh, I do a, a lot of running mm -hmm. and uh, training with the trainer, okay. and I've been going to Soul Cycle recently, which is interesting. All right. You like that? <laughs> yeah, I do. It's a good workout. All right. So when you're not working, what do you do on your day off other than exercise? Uh, I love watching sports. Okay. Uh, we live close to the beach, so I love walking on the beach mm -hmm. and hanging out by the beach. Okay. Is there anything that you have binged watched lately? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this sounds like you're guilty about it. What is it? The, well, the new series of The Crown came out, uh -huh. and, and I told my wife I wasn't that interested, but she put it on and started watching it, and then, I, of course, I've been watching along with her, and you I think it's hooked. pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before we get into some questions, why don't you tell us a little bit about your educational background? So I grew up in rural Michigan, okay. and I went to college in Michigan, and then I went to medical school at Georgetown in Washington, D.C., okay. and after medical school, I went to Loma Linda University and did a six-year plastic surgery residency, and then after that, I opened my practice here in Southern California. So I've been here about 20 years. Awesome. Okay, so Dr. Eichenberg is here today to talk to us about breast lift surgery. So first and foremost, what is it and why would someone have this procedure? So breast lift is kind of self-explanatory. It's lifting your breasts up. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to lift your breasts up? Gravity keeps pulling them down. <laughs> right. uh, women keep having children, and uh, if you ever had a child, you know it, it's not easy on your body and especially on your breasts. Right. Mm -hmm. Would having a breast lift actually change the size of the breast? N not necessarily. That's okay. a really good question, though, okay. and women ask that question a lot. Um, and so then I usually ask them, well, do you want them bigger or smaller? Mm -hmm. And if they do, then we can change the size of the breast. Right. But typically when you do a breast lift, we take all the breast tissue and move it back up where it used to be, and then we take out the excess skin. Mm -hmm. So we usually make the breasts a lot perkier, but we keep them the same size. Okay. What makes someone a good candidate for a breast lift? So a good candidate for a breast lift, we do, we do a lot of measurements in the office. Mm -hmm. um, but essentially, if your nipples are not pointing straight out anymore, mm -hmm. if they're getting lower, pointing toward the ground, then those are women who are candidates for a breast lift. And okay. we see them everywhere from just a little down, where you can do a little tiny lift, to down by the belly button, you know, where you need a more extensive procedure. Gotcha. Okay. How much does a breast lift typically cost? A breast lift would typically cost between five and $8,000. Okay. 
And for someone who needs or wants this procedure, are there financing options available? There's great financing options available. The one we use most often is Care Credit, okay. and they have lots of different financing options that people can use. Um, and they go through all kinds of different options with you, short term or long term, with different rates and all kinds of different things. They really customize it to different people and their situation so they can help them get exactly what they need. Okay. When a patient finds their doctor, what should they expect um, to kind of go on during their initial consultation? I think it's really important to discuss your goals and what you want your breast or body to look like with your doctor because we can do just about anything with them. We can make them bigger or smaller. Um, and so it's important that the doctor understands this is what you want. And I often, people very often pull up pictures on their phone and say, you know, I like these and these. Mm -hmm. And then also I want to know, well, show me some breasts you don't like. And they'll say, well, I don't like these because they're too full up here or there's too much side boob or gotcha. this or that. And those things are good to know because then you can really customize the surgery and make them look exactly the way they want. Are there specific questions that the patient should ask the doctor during that consultation? You should always ask your doctor, how long have you been doing this? Mm -hmm. How many breast lifts have you done or whatever mm -hmm. procedure you're having? Mm -hmm. um, where do you do your surgery? Do you do it here or do you do it at another surgery center? Uh, what what happens before, during, and after the surgery? Um, what would you do, you know, with my breast? And then, uh, you know, what, what problems can happen afterward? And, of course, are you a board-certified plastic surgeon? Very important. So what risks are associated with a breast lift surgery? So uh, breast lift is a very safe procedure. Mm -hmm. We do it every day. Tens of thousands of them are done in the United States every year. Wow. Um, there's a small amount of bleeding, um, but uh, that's never a problem. Um, there's a small risk of infection. Mm -hmm. um, we give people antibiotics before, during, and after surgery. Um, because we move the nipple and we make incisions all around the nipple, uh, one of the things we always talk to patients about is there's the risk of actually losing the nipple or part of the nipple. And mm -hmm. of course, that can be a big deal, or even losing sensation to the nipple is a big deal. And it's a very small risk, usually only 1% or less than that, um, you know, but it is a risk that we talk about. Are there any other risks maybe that you didn't just mention that someone should be aware of? Um, yeah, there's always all kinds of risks, um, you know, but they're, they're usually very minimal. There's, there's lots of incisions with this, so they're scarring, mm -hmm. but we try and hide the scars so they're very minimal or difficult to see. Okay. There's a small risk with anesthesia. I tell people it's the risk is like crossing the street. It's pretty safe, but you could get hit by a truck. You never know. Okay. What about women that either, um, well, if they still plan on having babies and children in the future, does it impact breastfeeding at all? Uh, studies have shown that it does not. Okay. And so when we, do, when we do the surgery, it's important to know if someone is going to have more children. Um, but the way we do the surgery is almost always we leave the nipple on the breast tissue with all the milk ducts intact mm -hmm. so that there won't be any problem with breastfeeding afterwards. And studies have shown women that have had breast augmentation or breast lift uh, can breastfeed the same as women who have not had that surgery. Now, however, if you were to tell me I want to have a breast lift, but I'm going to have a baby next year, I'd say, well, maybe you ought to wait because when you have a baby, of course, your breasts are going to change. Mm -hmm. So ideally, you would wait until you're done having children to have this so you'd only have to have it once because nobody can predict what your breasts will look like after you have one or two kids and breastfeed for one or ten years or whatever. Right. So you said only have to have it once. Is breast lift surgery something that maybe women would have more than one time? Not usually. Okay. Um, because I know with implants, sometimes mm -hmm. you do have to go back a few years later. Right. Um, with breast lift, um, typically the things that cause it are uh, the most common one is having kids. And if you're mm -hmm. done having kids, you know, then once you fix them up, then they usually stay pretty stable. If uh, something happens like if you gained a lot of weight or lost a lot of weight, mm -hmm. then of course you might have extra skin in your breast and they might sag and you might need a lift. Uh, and of course, gravity keeps working. So if you have larger breasts and you go braless for several years, then also, again, you might need a lift even if you've already had one. Gotcha. Okay. How about the patient that's home that's about to have this surgery? How can they prepare? Well, you want to do typical things. You want to be healthy, eat healthy, get plenty of rest. Um, make sure you have everything prepared at home for surgery, that you have people that are going to be able to bring you home from surgery and care for you after surgery, mm -hmm. have a fridge full of food, 
make sure your work knows and you have enough time off so they're not stressed about that. So if you have everything prepared all around you, it makes your recovery a lot easier. How about the time off? What's usually typical? Uh, typically, this is not a very painful or difficult surgery. Um, so typically after a week, most people are off pain medicine and back at work. And you might be a little sore, um, but some people even are able to go back sooner than that. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so tell us about the procedure. How does it? How is it done? So the procedure itself, there's several different kinds of breast lifts. Okay. And if you just need a small one where you just need to move your nipples up a little, then we'll just take out a little crescent of skin above the nipple, mm -hmm. like the crescent of a moon, and we call it a crescent lift. That's so simple you can even do it under local anesthesia and drive yourself home. Hmm. There's a donut lift where you take out like a donut of skin from around the nipple and then you tighten that skin up like a purse string okay. and then that helps get rid of all the skin there uh, and helps move the nipple up. If you want to make the breast really perky though and move all the breast tissue back up, then we do a standard breast lift or mastopexy is the word that a lot of doctors use for it. And then with the standard lift, we take a lot more skin off and then we move all that breast tissue up back to where it used to be and then we redrape the skin over top of it. Okay. What can the patient expect um, after the surgery and during recovery? So after the surgery, uh, as I mentioned, it's not terribly painful. Um, so most people need pain medicine for a few days, though, afterwards. Um, there's a lot of incisions, but this isn't a sharp pain at all. It's a dull ache, and the incisions usually heal really well, and they're all pretty well hidden. Um, usually people can start walking even the day after surgery. Mm. And I usually, a week after surgery, I have people able to start exercising. I tell them they can go on the treadmill four miles an hour or less, or start using weights 10 pounds or less. Of course, you wanna wear a good support, because if you're bouncing your breast around right after surgery, then it can tug and pull on the incisions and affect the healing and the scarring. Got it. So the exciting part, what can the patient expect um, after the surgery, after recovery, and just moving on with their lives? The exciting part of the surgery is, you know, we can tailor the surgery to how you want it. We can make them, most women want to look like before they were pregnant or while they were breastfeeding, you know, right. so we can kind of turn back the clock on the breasts and make them look uh, as good as they did several years ago. Okay. All right. Well, that was a lot of information from Dr. Eichenberg about breast lift surgery. And now we are going to move to a lightning round. So awesome. I'm just going to ask you a few quick questions and you just let us know how you feel. Okay. All right. Are you a homebody or on the go? On the go. Beach or mountains? Beach. Milk, chocolate, or dark? Milk, I think. Okay. Book or a movie? Book. Dine in or take out? Dine in. Okay. And how about an art gallery or a sporting event? Sporting event. Flip-flops or tennis shoes? Tennis shoes. And do you sleep in or get up and get going? I get up and get going. <laughs> All, right. All right, Dr. Eigenberg, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Yeah, I was glad to be here. We learned a lot about breast augmentation from one of the country's leading board-certified plastic surgeons. If you're considering breast augmentation surgery, we hope we've provided the information you need to decide if you want to take the next step and schedule a consultation. All the healthcare experts featured recommend and accept the Care Credit credit card. Remember, Care Credit is a leading national healthcare credit card that can enable you to get many of the surgeries, procedures, and treatments you want now and pay over time with everyday promotional financing on purchases of $200 or more. Care Credit can also be used to pay for copays, coinsurance, deductibles, and your health and wellness needs. Care Credit is accepted at hundreds of thousands of locations nationwide to pay for care whenever you need and want it. If you are interested in applying for a Care Credit credit card or would like to find a provider in your area who accepts Care Credit, visit us at carecredit.com. And if you found this information valuable, please leave us a five star review on the App Store and a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I'm Amy Frena with Care Credit, and I will see you soon.